Hello everybody, what's up? It's your boy Pablo, back at it again with another video for you all. This is from Encycle Barsas now. Um, so a new update is coming for Encycle Barsas. It's the Azure Azure, I'm not sure how to say it. I'm from Mexico, so I don't get the pronunciation of that often, but there's a new update coming for Encycle Barsas, and I wanted to just take a moment to make some analysis from a recent set that I did in this current update, toolbox.net.3, because, well, I just, want, I just want to have a point of reference, you know, for when the upcoming stuff comes out, see how the meta has changed, how it has developed, and also give some insight, you know, to the players interested in knowing about that cycle, as well as my boy Sir Ham over here, you know. This was a 1st to 10 set, 1st to 10 wins, so let me see if I have my audio correct. This one's starting right off the bat, but don't worry, you'll see soon enough why this one isn't that special. Not because I'm getting crushed right now, which is dope by Sir Ham, you know, using those jumper jets and Electro Ray as well. Showing some stuff, some crazy stuff, getting hit by the heal instead of me using it. That new heal, man, that's crazy. Jumper jet trading with the lands. I'm using my same old stuff, you know, I'm not gonna change any folders in this set. What you're seeing right now is what I'm playing, which is the same old, same old that I've been using since the game came out, you know. With some changes, you know, Gatling wasn't there when I started, so, you know, I added it afterwards, you know. Other stuff as well, the boulder drop. But, anyways... Sir Ham, on the other hand, is using actually some of the most newer stuff. As you can see, you know, the fighter jet, the rolling log, log launch, sorry, the inbound network. But I'm also using the rebound, which is also relatively new. And rebound, rebound is pretty good. You're gonna see some use of it throughout the match. And I'm not really that good at it. But, jeez, where to start, man? Just end cycle is just so dope, man. And this being a first to ten set, you're gonna see a lot of action of it throughout. So definitely check this video out. You see the rebound once again coming in. Some dancing. I'm using the gate. I'm not sure what that was a cannon or a gatling to get rid of the fighter yet. I think it's gatling. I don't have cannon in this pack. Hitting him with the heals once again. Gotta watch out. That new heal. That that wasn't always like that, you know. Heal was just like you know, like if you used the recovery chip in battle network. But recently they changed it so it's more like a canister, like a grenade you, you throw out. I go for the dance, sorry, for the uh, the gathering there and I get the win. But like I said, this one isn't really that important. It took a while, it was a, it was a good one, but here my buddy Sir Ham says... Wait for it. There he goes. I hope everything's looking right. He had a joke for the run, of course he had, so... You know, I respect that homie, you know, so this is where the real action is gonna start now, you know, my buddy Sir Ham is using a moment to change folders, you know, putting some good stuff, and now the real fun is gonna kick off. So now we see him change to Triwing, you know, Triwing, I guess, character in that cycle recently added, moves only in vertical or horizontal ways, no diagonal movement, diagonal movement, a huge difference from other grip fighters here in that cycle, it's crazy, man. And here, Sir Ham goes out for the strat, you know, throwing out that big bomb, not sure of the exact name. Which, if you hit it with, oof, you hit it with fire, causes a lot of damage, much like what Sir Ham just did right now, you know, doing the quick sweep, going 1-0 on the board. So I'm like, alright, alright, I see how it is. So now I know it's dry wing, I know what he has. I saw the bomb, I saw the combo, you know, he has cannon. Both normal cannon and fire cannon, I think, or I'm not sure how it is. Also the white sword we see now. Forcing me to respect him. I think that's a great sequence, the one that just happened, you know, because Sir Ham recognized that I wasn't really gonna be moving. So he tried to punish my space. Throwing out the bomb for the ice panels. I'm just staying center, going for the classical area trap, you know. Going for the road lock. Sir Ham got caught slipping. Using the rebound there, but I suck at rebound. You know, if you hold the button, I you're supposed to be able to be uh, keep it continuously, much like Flurry, but I'm not really that good at it, so... Yeah, usually I, I run... Oof! Nice trade there. Let's let's show it up real quick. Nice trade over there, yeah. My dance didn't come out as fast. Got hit with the crush. High bar. Try to back away. Putting some distance, you know, recovering. Taking a moment, Berserk Ham taking advantage of it. Not that much, though. I had the Gatling. I still had the Rolock, so... Yeah, so as you can see, like I said, this is the same old folder style that I've been using ever since I picked up the game, like, some months ago. And it's area control. Basically, you want to go in for the area control and try to dominate this much. Immobilize your opponent so you can just go ahead and throw out some hits. You see the adaptation right now, we're 1-1. One, one. 
I know he's got the white sword, so I can really stay in place, you know. I gotta move parallel to him, you know, try and get rid of that movement. Going for the stun wave, doesn't hit. Panel grab not gonna connect as well. And like I was saying about area control, you know, um, there's been a lot of changes in the game. Area grab is, uh, sorry, panel grab is still strong, even if it's not level 1 anymore. I remember back when, when I first started, you know, panel grab wars were so crazy with Rose, you know. Just spamming those level 1 BOCs, that's crazy. But now with uh, panel grab as level B2, I think it's pretty nice, you know, because um, it doesn't force that much area control, you know, you have to think of other options. But it's still a strong tactic as well, as you can see, my wins here have been because I've managed to obtain the Rolock and then forcing the Gatling or just shooting out stuff to hit. I also have cheaper, so even if I don't have any bar, I'm still putting on the pressure, he still has to do something. And it looks like Sirham doesn't really have much options to get rid of the Rolock here. He has neutralized, but remember that Tri-Wing has a different charge mechanism instead of like, you know, the usual end cycle charge, which is like, you know, you have this bar slowly filling. I haven't played Tri-Wing at all, not even the game nor the guest characters, so I don't really know how to explain it. But yes, it's a different mechanism, so that's why you see like a more like passive and then towards aggressive kind of playstyle from Sinharam because he's taking a moment to recharge the, ba the bar. Like right now you see he's not doing anything because he doesn't have the bar, but then he throws out the white swords and it's back to wait and you have to wait for that charge. And it's working out, you know? You gotta be strategic about it, and Sirham is doing a great job right now, I think it's 2-2, two, two. yes. So it's pretty even right now. I'm staying blue, usually in tournaments you're free to change sides if you lose the match, but right now I don't really care, you know, it's just a friendly set. Bad positioning there, gonna have to eat the bomb, great stuff by Sirham, that's a good combo, but he has to wait for a lot of bar to charge up, and now he's putting on the pressure with the crush. So I have to go for the cube, so I use the cube here because I'm expecting a cannon, you know, maybe another hit. I got, I have to watch out for the dance, but still, possible. And I'm just messing up my heals here, you know, like I told you guys, I don't really... I, I haven't been playing that much uh, often right now, so I forget that the heal right now is like you throw a grenade. Which I'm not a fan of, but I mean, I don't know, I don't really know the justification of why they did that. And I respect that man that it, I didn't make the game, but yeah, it's definitely interesting that it's now like that. But it's fun, you know, because you have to be strategic about it, you have to know how to use it. If not, you're gonna give your opponent a chance with that, which has happened fairly often in this set. And even if I don't give him the chance, uh, I'm still dropping the heals. I just want to take a moment to highlight this trap here. So I have the area lock. But I'm going for the border drop because I want to replenish the cube and throw it out for some damage. I'm losing the road rock but getting it back once again and going for the level 2 panel grab into the level 2 gatling. Putting on a lot of pressure into Sir Ham 3-2 now. Your boy Pablo's favor. Look at the movement from Sir Ham. Look how he goes for the front row. He's trying to get that white sword in. Ooh, I messed up with the flurry. Stay there for a long while, so gonna have to eat the punish with the cube, and that was my own cube. You see now Sir Ham putting on the pressure once again, because he recognizes I'm gonna have to back off and try to get those heals in. So he goes forward and he has two options, either the white sword if I stay up front, or the lance if I'm trying to back away. And lance, you know, because of the push, it really messes you up with, you know, if you're trying to maybe put in a BOC out, or if you're just trying to move, he's gonna push you back and cancel your animations. Dash dancing, different setup, same strat, Sriham could neutralize here, try and get some more stage, but he waits it out, you know. Also one thing that has changed over the time here in end cycle is the recovery time for panels and holes. Like just recently was that holes were changed, I think it's 5 seconds now that they recharge. And notice here that we have, we, th this, this part is funny because it's kind of like a stalemate. You see that he threw out the bomb. And he's expecting me to go down, or move back, sorry, and e have to eat the hit. But no, I'm waiting it out, and I have the option to do something. Here, e I'll go for rebound, but I could also go for dual leaf if I had it in the back. And here, I'm just not backing off. I'm taking the chance to not try to get hit by that, because it could kill me. And I'm almost close to death right now. Dang, this is intense. Too much information coming to be processed right now, but that's the game, and that's it, you know, the push into the trap, being immobilized, not even able to move. That was a good win for Sir Ham. I think it's 3-3 now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. 
I may be wrong though. Please, please correct me in the comments. Let me know if this, if you guys like this type of uh, commentary type of videos. I also do them for Battle Network uh, and Cycle. I really like it, you know. I really enjoy this game. I think it's pretty dope. And much respect to the guys doing the game, you know. Galaxis, Dorner, all those dudes. Much respect. They have a Discord. They have a, ho a whole community there playing. They have tournaments every now and then. Definitely jump up that wave if you're interested. It's on Steam. I'm not sure if it's still early access or regular access, but it's actually pretty cheap and a pretty good fun game. And now that I just plugged in, shout out the guys over real quick. I want to get back into the match, but I'm not doing so good right now, you know. He's got the light mass there blocking some movement, and I'm just doing dumb stuff, you know, trying to get, trying to go to aggro with too low HP. And Sirham just recognizes that and goes for the white swords. I don't, I'm not remember if white sword is a level one or level two BOC. But usually I see um, Sriham going for them two times, so I think it might be level 2, and it's level 4 total. Not sure yet, but here, I gotta respect Sriham, you know, usually I try to like actually play out the, the neutral, and not go for the panel control right away, but here he's putting on the pressure, like, if I'm not going for my win condition right off the bat, he's gonna out neutral me, because that's what he's doing, he's catching my movement, he's like recognizing my options, and adapting to them and punishing me for them right like right now you see he's trying to block the movement so I go for the hole instead hit him with the border drop a great chip does a lot of damage for just a level 2 and generates a hole you know great thing I also have the panel crack in there but you know most of the time you want to go for the border drop just for the damage and here I even have to I even go yeah I just go chipper here that's crazy and I had the bar, you know, that's that's some BM, man. That's so bad, Bill Paolo, that's so rude. 4-3. Blue side. Once again, that... Now, notice, um, this one thing, I don't know if you're gonna watch this video through him, but... One thing that I try to do right out of the bat here is that... You don't have panel grab, I think, but usually you wanna go right in front because you wanna have that area on your ship. If they do panel grab right where you're standing, the panel grab won't activate, similar to Battle Network. So you want to hold that positioning. And if you look at some tournament bots from Encycle, like, I don't know, me versus Rose in all the tournaments that there have been, it's always, you know, area control and area attrition. Both players going forward, pushing each other with the lances. Sir Ham here messing me up. Don't talk about Rose, Bob. Don't talk about me. I just fucked you up. He did fuck me up, man. Let me watch that again. Yeah, you know, just putting on the pressure going down. I wanna you know he he knows I won that middle row. So you know he's just putting in the pressure, gets a crush in, the crush gives you bar, Sir Ham goes in, put some respect on my name. I will, I will, it's 4-4. It's just this is a close set, you know. Some chippers. I don't like that sound effect change in the chipper, you know, it doesn't sound as like I'm I know it's not supposed to be a big hit, but it makes it sound so like I don't know non-threatening <laughs> and chipper is great you know it's like if you have no bar you still can use it Sir Ham trying to trade the cube doesn't change going for the swap and that's the thing like I told you guys so Sir Ham has neutralized but that's it he doesn't have swap he doesn't have caffeine he doesn't have panel repair so his ways of getting out of the roadlock are better limited you know he's doing a great job trying to like force me out of trying to do that you know if I try to go to the front, he tries to go for that strat, you know, with the white sword. If I go back, he's gonna try to push me. With the cannons, you can see here, I have to go for the cube there. Because I need the defense. Border drop, trying to do the setup. Giving him a heal, neutralize. Sir Ham on the offense, he's trying to get out of it. I don't have enough time, the hole's already gone. Get another setup though, and that's a good thing. Like you have so many options to do the area control. It's not just the panel graph. You need to have the coverage for at least two out of the three options. If I had to put it in a certain way, I would say area grab is really attainable by panel control, like uh, area grab, panel grab, by object control, which is the ice cube, you know, or the light mass or the bomb, etc. And then holes, you know. So if you use all three, you have different ways of attaining the setup. Like as you guys can see, I'm using, I'm trying, I'm achieving the same result by different ways. And Sir Ham doesn't have proper ways of counteracting that. Sorry, um, countering that. So it's five four. I may be losing track of this. Sorry if I if I do. 
And see, like I said, you know, so you gotta watch out. You have, you gotta have, from those three options, you need to at least be able to counter two of them. And usually you wanna counter both, uh, you wanna, I think the best way to, tr to counter panel grab is panel grab, like right off the bat. I don't think neutralize is that word. I can see it definitely being used in combos, like if you use neutralize panel grab or stuff like that. But, nah, man. I would just go for a straight up panel grab because the best way of getting area control before your opponent is just do the same thing but faster, you know? Which is basically what it boils down to. I may be wrong on this, feel free to correct me, but hey man, that's my experience so far in this game. Holes, you know, holes I think are the big deal. There's lots of ways of making holes and few ways of countering them. Let me let me see that again. I think I actually missed Oh yeah, it was me, yeah. Well I just wanted to confirm real quick. This is a long set, guys. So, 6-4 now. It has been going back and forth so far, but this is the first moment where, you know, there's an actual lead, you know? Two-game lead. Flip... Flip Flurry? What? That's interesting. So we both have Flurry, but different styles. And styles, you know, are the big thing here, because we actually all styled up here, both sides. He has the normal... The normal bomb, the normal light mass. I get... Ooh! The normal cube, and I get the trap here, you know? My boy's trapped up. But he's still putting up a fight, forcing me to back off. I need to heal, I need to get these heals off. And he takes the chance. Oof, the recognition, man. That was nice. I had a stream on while I was playing in the background, and the stream ended, and it hosted someone on Twitch. So that's why you hear voice in the background. Sorry about that. I think I changed that after this one finishes. But yeah. Damn, that was a tough situation, and Sir Ham still got out of it. That's crazy. You know, here we're both trying to use heal, having the setups. The cube helped me out there, you know, big time. Sir Ham was just spamming the hits, so he didn't go for the dance. Oof. Okay, once again, the recognition, the punishment. Sir Ham out neutral. I messed up the boulder drop there, but that's alright. That's all good. I still have the area. I'm trying to go for the push. I was too greedy, of course. Sir Ham, he knew. Genius. My man is a genius. And yes. Alright, yes, I stopped the stream in the background. I take a moment here, actually, so Sir Ham notices, and then I go back, but oof, I get hit by that cube right off the bat. Damn, this, this match, right off the bat, going crazy. Some movement. Damn, got hit with a white sword lance. Not the best movement there. Really liking these traps here by, by Sir Ham, you know. Recognizing that even if he not, he may not be able to clear the area lock so easily, he has ways to mitigate it. Because he's forcing me to recover or have to match up the offense. I get the trap here. Light mass, interesting. Trying to get some heals off. Gets a flurry, but trade. Oof. Alright, alright. Waiting, waiting it out. Taking a moment here, trying to, I, I'm trying to load up the bar here to spam Gatling, which should I do it right now? Yes, yes, that's what I wanted, but not enough, I need it more. I'm just trying to get the crush here, you know, for the kill. That's why I use Gatling there instead of Cannon. Cannon, you know, level 1, it's a better option because you can spam it more, but the crush and the Gatling, I think it's definitely something that you can consider, especially for this type of strategy. It used to be so crazy when it was level 1, man, how the, how the times have changed. But they have changed for the better. I'm really liking the most of the additions that have been happening in End Cycle. I think all the new BOCs, you know, make it interesting. Rebound has been making lots of strides from what I've seen. I played some guys with Rebound or Go-To style re Rebound, which makes it so you can do, do like a Step Sword in Bound Network. And it's crazy, man. It's a great BOC. I really like it. I really like most of the new additions, they're very creative and the, the design as well is so cool. And the new update, you know, the Asure Acer update, sorry I, I suck at English, but it's gonna be super dope as well, you know, lots of new changes. And also the Paulette swap, you know, that's gonna be crazy, I love that because it's like Capcom vs SNK to EO. Here we have the, the crush traits, you know, I'm playing so scared right now, but I get the crush just in time. That was that was so that was so scary for both sides, you know. But I think um, Sir Ham was mostly just waiting it out more than me. And here I'm just counting. I'm counting on the on the beat on the bot. 
and I've lost count myself from talking all this time, so forgive me, but I think it's like 674 or something. I'm looking at the game right now and then I went on to look to Discord because the, the Discord from Encycle has like a bot that registers the matches so you can count as well over there. And it lets you know like this person beat this other person in this server. Here it's just like red team won or blue side won, stuff like that. But it doesn't matter because we're just playing, you know, we're going at it man, I'm just two fiends going at it man, Sir Ham is crazy. I really like his style man, he has a lot of recognition and I really like that man. And he knows how to like... He knows what I'm trying to do, and he's stopping it as hard as he can, and he's doing it just by raw gameplay, you know? This game is crazy because I just went for flat out all rebounds. Rebound is a sick, sick BOC. Like, that match was all rebounds, man, that's crazy. And like I said, I'm not the best using it because if you hold it down, you can continue using it after two bars, if you have the bar for it. But it just hits so much, and it causes also a lot of... Like, if it hits you a lot, you're gonna get crushed, and that's what happened there. That was crazy that I just used that, man. Can't believe it. That was rude. But we're still going at it. Sir Ham, still in it, man. Trading cannons. See, I'm going for the nooch. I'm trying to get some neutral in, you know? I have some leniency, I have some I have some game games to spare, so I can do it, but I shouldn't underestimate this guy because he's hitting me with the white sword, lots of crush, have to step back, have to avoid some stuff. I'm doing it. I'm doing a good job here, but I'm not managing to get my hits, so I also have to watch out for that. Oof, 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 going for the combo, yes. It's five bars, I think, because that's two two white swords, one lance, that's five bars, yeah. He's going for it. He's, he, he's just. We're playing swords right now. This is Fire Emblem, man. This is Summer Showdown. This ain't that. This is Ant Cycle. I'm going for the swab. I don't know why we did that there. Get hit with the trap. Managed to fend it off with the lance. This is just. This is like. Damn, man. Oof. Too greedy again. Bad spot. Need to watch out. Going for the panel grab. I'm desperate now. I'm just trying to go for my wing con. That's not gonna work out. He's gonna hit me, man. Oh man, that's so messed up. I healed the light mess. And oof, 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 oof. This is rough, man. What's gonna happen? What's it gonna be? I'm barely avoiding the hit. Oh man, this movement, man. This is crazy. Using the cube there to get rid of the trap. The lance doesn't connect with the push. That's crazy. I'm not sure what happened there. I get the setup. Why am I not punishing? Neutralize. Okay. Wasting the bar to try to get the control still. Taking a moment to heal. Like if it was Fortnite. Late game. Circle small. But no, this end cycle. Oh, the crush. Where did that come from, man? Dude, what happened there? Sir Ham brought it all the way back. What the? Dude, look at that. That was all fire cannons. Do, 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 tonguing. Oh, man, my Spanish came out. Wow, that was crazy from Sir Ham. He just spammed. So five cannons are confirmed crush? So we're gonna be playing this, but I just need Wow, that was sick man. Great punish. And me not recognizing, trying to go for the offense. Should have moved away. I sh I could have only moved up there, so maybe Sir Ham was ready as well, but that was great. And that was done for my part. Still in this man, this is still an even game. I'm still trying to go for neutral here, man. I'm not giving Ham the respect he deserves. He's Beating me in neutral so much this set, man. Once again, he's he, he goes for the back white sword, man. That's a cool strat, you know? That's not a very common thing, so I should expand upon it a bit, but uh, swap usually is nothing, not something that people expect. And not only because of the swap, but also because you can change sides in this game. So you can turn from left to right and you can do stuff like that, which Sir Ham just did, you know, trying to punish me with the white swords from the back. That's, yeah, that's, you can see that in tournament videos as well, you know, it's a common strat. Here I'm just going for the trap, get the crush, get the kill. I have to, man. If I try to play neutral with Ham, he beats me. And that's it, Ooh. I had to, man. I had to do it, man. I had to play him like that.
so it was yeah it was uh, th there was a moment where he was beating me you know he was actually I really like the chrono drips that he did there but I wasn't buying into them I only did it like two or three times the whole set because you have to wait it out you have to wait out the defense and yeah here I got the trap off and high crush so I just went for it yeah man I see I see all right man that's crazy yeah that was sense so let me see what happens. Yes, yes, I'm counting here right now. Am I sure it's 10? Am I sure? Yeah, heavy handed. Nah, it wasn't heavy handed. It was even. I think it was. Uh, the, the, the last. The, the, I have the. I have the number here. Actually, I think I put it. Yeah, it's 10-7. Yeah, that's crazy. It was actually pretty even because at the end we went back and forth. No, sorry, at the start we were going back and forth with wins, but then it was mostly like. Um, there were some instances where I was trying to get a hang of what he was going for because like I said I don't really know much about Triwing so I don't really know how he works but like watching this set now I see that he gets all five bars and the strats like the white sword white sword dance that Ham used to do was because of that and ooh the bot finish sorry about that but like just to just to wrap it up real quick and let me just put in some music here real real quick I just want to say that I think that match was nice, but it's so, it shows something that I'm not a fan of right now in in cycle, and it's that uh, you know I'm using the same stuff I used to play when I started out, and it's like kind of still working. Like you can definitely beat it now if you have more things into consideration. Like I said, Sir Ham could have done a much better job if he had caffeine on, if he had panel repair. Or maybe swap, you know. If you just give him one more BOC to get out of those area dogs, he would have beaten me for sure, man. And he was beating me most of the time, like I said, you know, you can see that I do a lot of predictable stuff, like if I'm low on if I'm low on health or I'm high on crush, then I try to step back, you know, and I try to like heal myself. Or if I'm high on crush, I try to go for the normal ice cube to put the barrier in front of me and not get hit by shots, which can be super punishable on reaction if you have a lance on deck. So like, um, you know, I still have my things and I just think Ham could have done a much better job if he had more options, you know? And that's what I'm saying. I'm hopeful for the new updates because every time an update comes out, they put out new stuff and diversify the meta because the meta has been diversified, you know? Like, I'm still trying to do the, the, the things with because I don't have the time to, like, check out the log launcher or check out the fighter yet. If I had time, I would definitely implement it. I only got the chance to play Rebound because I was being beat, beat by Rebound a lot when I checked that update out. So, I'm really hopeful for the new uh, update and the coming advancements to the beta game, so to speak. I'm just really excited to see how the game develops, you know? Like, they've done a good job in making it better. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the game continues to grow and more tournaments happen. And, you know, just more community coming, coming forward, you know? So yeah, that was my analysis for this match. It was pretty long, but I think it was also pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys liked about it, what you guys didn't. Um, and you know, more videos on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Ahema, Battle Network Daily, and Cycle. More great fighters coming soon. Check all that stuff out. I hope you guys liked. And well, I'll see you guys on the grid. Thanks for watching. Peace!